know, I was out on tour when Phil first came out on tour, and uh, so I've covered his whole career, sort of know him upside and down. Amazing player, you know, a living legend, 42 wins. He's just uh, an amazing, amazing uh, player in that uh, you can't really predict what he's going to do. You know, he's never been consistent, uh, except for his short game has been consistent. Even the putting gets on and off. Um, especially the driving, a lot like Tiger Woods, his driver's never been reliable. Um, but his iron game is sneaky great. He really is a, a good solid iron player and he hits a lot of little half shots and little stingers. And uh, you know, the one thing that sets Phil apart is, it uh, seems like the guys that hit it in the trees the most are always the most popular for the fans because they get to see it close up. It's funny, Arnold Palmer was that way, you know? And, uh, guys that spray it a little Tiger Woods. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess the players sort of relate to the recovery shots. But um, Phil's been really good for the game. He takes time out for people and, you know, 42 wins in the modern era. If it wasn't for Tiger Woods, he'd be the man. He is one of, you know, one of the men. So you got to hand it to Phil. When he gets hot, he could beat anybody, including Tiger. So he has the, the horsepower. Uh, when he is driving it pretty well, like he did at the Players Championship, he won. He hit a lot of little baby cuts, and the thing about Phil is he's he's so temptable. Um, you get a hole that most likely you probably ought to just play it with a layup club, and yet if you can carry the bunker in the water, you can take advantage of the hole. He likes to go that route. He likes to go the thrill route, and uh, just like Arnold Palmer and just like Greg Norman, they might even have won more tournaments if they could have been less temptable, if they could have uh, picked their spots a little bit more. But that's what makes Phil exciting to watch and uh, there'll probably never be another guy quite like him. And obviously Phil has been working uh, with Butch Harmon and Butch has helped him quite a bit. But the one thing Phil does that makes him sort of erratic off the tee and not reliable and not straight is he swings way past parallel to the right-handed version of Phil and then he comes down really, really tight this way, he has no width going back and he has no width coming down like a Tiger Woods did, especially in his glory days. So he comes down really with a lot of angle in here and he's really got to do a lot of catching up in that last foot to be able to uh, square up the club face and get the shaft angle right. So he'd be wise if he could, it might be too late now. And of course with 42 wins, you can't really argue his career, but imagine how many wins he could have if he would drove it like Greg Norman used to. Uh, but if he could just keep it a little wider and a little more of a circle instead of over swinging here and coming down real abruptly. So that, that's what I'd work on with Phil. Is, uh, a lot of the long drive champions say the secret to um, the length off the tee, these guys that win these long drive competitions, is how far you can get your right hand away from your neck. And if it's in here tight with too much elbow bend here, you want to keep it out there a little more width uh, like Nicholas did and Michelle Wee and the real long hitters and Tiger a long ways away from you, the back of your neck and not in tight like Phil. And that'll give you more uh, uh, circular power and uh, more width and make you sweep it better. Mm -hmm.